NASA is looking for creative thinkers. Uh, we are the explorers of our world. Without creativity, we'd never make it off the Earth. Right now, we, we've been to the moon. We've got golf balls there to prove it. We've built a wonderful space laboratory that rotates around the Earth 24-7. We've done those things. So now we need explorers to help us go further. We're looking to go into deep space, Mars and beyond. We can train anyone to take a test, but to think creatively is something that is a little bit more difficult. It's not natural in today's environment. We tend to take so much play and opportunity to explore away from kids in the public set, school setting that if it weren't for organizations such as DI, kids may not have the opportunity to explore the way I did when I was growing up. I got into science because NASA knew they were going to need more scientists and engineers. They had an aging population. When we started training people to become engineers, we found out that they didn't play well together. Um, I visited a lab at Marshall at one time where we had two lead engineers on our project and they each had their own whiteboard that they couldn't, wouldn't let each other touch. This was my philosophy, this was my philosophy, and we're not talking about it. It was a deep secret. That was our goal. That was something that we worked with to try to have students start working together collaboratively so that when they became engineers and scientists, that systems engineering came into role. Everyone had a part to play, but those parts had to fit together. DI is raising a generation of children to think in ways that are outside of the box. They are inquisitive, they're curious, they're sharing ideas, they're working together. They are gracious to each other in their disagreements. This is the type of employee that NASA dreams of. We want employees who have great ideas, but are also willing to share those ideas and work with others to accomplish a task. Apollo 13 is a perfect example of the type of skills. In Apollo 13, if the people who were brought into the room with this kit of parts that didn't fit, if they didn't work together, we would have lost Apollo 13. But they were able to work together, just as our kids do here at DI every day. We have Peeps in Space. I like to call it a peep show for the adults. At the Peeps in Space display exhibit, we talk about the difference in air pressure. I have a bell jar chamber that we take a marshmallow peep, we place it inside, and we take the air out, and of course the peep reacts. I like to tell the kids the story of NASA in such a way that they can stand here and see, okay, if NASA had not explored, had not gone on past Apollo, we wouldn't be heading towards Mars now. In the peep show, I tell them a little bit about that history, and then we talk about air pressure and why we have difficulty going into space and why we need spacesuits and why technology and science and math is so important. We take that peep, we launch her into space on the new SLS, Space Launch System, inside the Orion capsule. We talk about the uh, air pressure in the Orion is 11 pounds per square inch. Um, we talk about that being about where we are here in Knoxville is about 11 pounds per square inch. Um, from there, she has to do a uh, spacewalk and fix something on the Orion, but she doesn't have a spacesuit. So unfortunately, when she goes out into space, there is a, a violent reaction for the poor peep. Um, we try to save our peep and bring her back in, and there is an opposite but equal violent reaction. Um, Needless to say, this story doesn't end well for the peep, but it tells NASA a lot and our kids a lot about how important it is to prepare for space travel. NASA has been here three years. Our administrative lead has been here two years. Um, we are thrilled to be at DI. We are so pleased with our relationship with DI that we're in the process now of completing a Space Act agreement. We are waiting for the very last signatures, and once that is signed, then we will have a uh, nationwide Space Act agreement with Destination Imagination and NASA, and NASA couldn't be happier.